uh, what are the major um, um, new features uh, in the system is the lockdown uh, option in case of a crisis, of course, uh, uh, shooters in the, in the school, for example. Unfortunately, we're seeing all this, uh, this all too often and uh, throughout the world, uh, in the United States especially. Um, Europe has seen many uh, occasions where um, terrorists are uh, causing uh, deaths and shootings and so on and so forth. Um, so Atrium will allow us to manage that um, through a, in a uh, real time. So, how do we enable and uh, function with the, the lockdown? So, we can initiate or trigger or start the lockdown with cards. Now, if you're using cards or even uh, transmitters, a wire, wireless transmitter with a wireless receiver, um, you can have a double swipe of a card or a single swipe. And you can choose which cards can start the lockdown and which cards can stop the lockdown. You can also indicate that we will need two cards. So you have a single swipe, a double swipe to initiate lockdown, or you need to have two cards. So you need to be two people to start or stop the lockdown. And this can be individually configured. You can, of course, go through the software, the Atrium software, or through the web browser. And there is a menu to start and stop the lockdown. Um, if you want, you can uh, prompt the user that has logged into the system to start the lockdown or stop the lockdown to provide their user password. So this is an option that you can enable or disable. So in, if I've logged in and I want to start the lockdown, and we see down here at the bottom, start lockdown, we can prompt the user to enter his password. The password he will enter is his uh, login password into the system, whether it's the software or the web browser. And last but not least, uh, you can also use buttons. So any emergency buttons uh, that you have can be used as a uh, uh, to start or stop a lockdown scenario in the system. When the lockdown has started, the readers will stop reading cards. The doors will all lock and no cards will work. The cards will be denied access. So if we take a school scenario, the teachers and the staff have their cards and so on and so forth. I initiate lockdown, whether it's through a double swipe, through the software, the side of the web browser, or through a button, all the doors will lock. Even if they had unlock schedules, they will automatically lock. They will, the readers will stop reading cards. In the system, I will be able to define which cards will continue to have the capability to unlock doors. This cards will typically be reserved for the emergency response team, the SWAT team that are coming to the building and are uh, searching and uh, hunting down the, uh, the shooter that's inside the building, for example. So only the SWAT team will be able to gain access to the classrooms. Any other card will be denied access. The readers themselves will start flashing. So there is a visual indicator at the door itself on the reader. If they are the CDVI readers, uh, you will see the reader uh, blinking uh, blue and red quickly. So once uh, the lockdown is initiated, all the readers that are part of the lockdown will start blinking blue and red. The SWAT team will then evacuate the school class by class. So when I use my card with the SWAT, uh, as a SWAT team, I have the privilege to unlock the door even though we're in lockdown. It'll unlock for your unlock time in the system, which is by default, five seconds. I will be able to enter the classroom and if Everything is clear and all is secure. I will be able to evacuate the children from the classroom and outside the building. When I'm done, I will be able to go into using a second card to clear, to indicate to the system that the area has been secured. These cards can be any card in the system. It does not have to be a special card. However, we have the capability to uh, provide you with these cards that are pre-printed for lockdown crisis management. So we see these two cards here, uh, the start lockdown and the end lockdown. So when the issue, the crisis is ended, we will be able to stop the lockdown scenario. We also have 
two other cards that come with this that are available. Uh, the grant access, the orange card, and maintain lockdown. So that's my SWAT team. We're in alarm. We're in crisis. Um, you're going through door to door to each class. When you swipe your card, your card has the option to unlock the door even if we are in lockdown we'll grant you access and once you've cleared the area or secured the area you will have a second card to be able to secure the area once you use this second card to secure the area the reader at that door will now blink instead of blue and red it will blink blue and green so another visual indicator that this particular classroom has been secured and cleared now, these cards uh, come in a kit, and uh, they're uh, convenient to, to use and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, however, uh, any card can be a lockdown card. Any card can be an um, uh, area secure card, uh, grant access, and so on and so forth. It's an option that we enable in the card menu. Uh, these cards just happen to have the printed graphics on there when you purchase them. Um, you can also manage and clear areas and unlock doors from the web browser. Remember, we can start and stop the lockdown. We can also manage the lockdown through the web interface. So my SWAT team, um, we did not issue them cards. We're talking to them through walkie-talkie, for example, and I'm connected to the system. When they're at the classroom, they want me, they want to go in and clear the area. I will be able to remotely unlock the door for them permitting them to gain access to the door to the classroom and once they're done we can then set the area as secure through both the web interface and the software so you can do it through cards and or the pc and or the web interface so here we're looking at the uh, web interface uh, when you've uh, enabled the lockdown option this menu will appear and of course you see here the start lockdown if you do have the option to uh, provide a password when you click this button you will need to put in your operator password when you logged into the system to initiate the lockdown and this can also be uh, enabled to stop the lockdown so once you've started it, now it's in lockdown you can also have stop lockdown to require or a password yes or no once you're in lockdown status Oops, my mistake. The menus are limited. We do not, for example, uh, uh, need to go into the hardware menu to see if the what version firmware. We're in crisis management situation here, so we will minimize the amount of uh, information and uh, minimize the number of clicks, if you will, for this uh, emergency situation. So what we're looking at here is the lockdown has been initiated has been started the lockdown term here will blink it's in yellow it'll flash the atrium logo will also be flashing constantly along with we are in the areas menu right now any area in the building will be indicated here and for each area this per door in other words you will see if the area is in lockdown or if it has been secured or not if the area has been secured either through the card or through the web interface for example the secured areas will appear at the end of the list of doors we will always um, present the areas that are still in lockdown mode at the top of the list at the beginning of the list um, we can include by default all the doors in the system all the areas in the system will become part of the lockdown however in the uh, door menu or in the area menu I can say this particular door I do not want it to be part of the lockdown situation so by default all the doors all the areas are part of a lockdown however that is configurable I can say certain doors are not going to be part of lockdown if I wish when the lockdown is initiated or when the lockdown is stopped i can trigger relays for example uh, start lockdown uh, activate one of the relays on the a22 the relay is connected to an import module on a pa system a public announcement system when that relay is activated the public announce system will sense the uh, change of condition and 
send a, uh, a voice recording over the public announcement system to tell the people to find uh, a secure area in the building or to evacuate the building if, uh, if they can. So we can interact with external uh, things. So we can create a macro command to activate a relay when you start a, a lockdown and when you stop a lockdown. You can also, in addition to that, send emails. So on a start, uh, lockdown or a stop lockdown condition, we can fire off three different emails to uh, three emails to this, uh, uh, an email to three different addresses if I can get that right. So uh, sending emails on start and lock or activating relays and start and stop the lockdown scenario. Uh, where that was the you know, web browser. Here's the software interface. Once again, you'll notice that the interface, uh, the buttons at the top have been minimized. We don't have access to the entire uh, software interface. We are in crisis. The lockdown uh, uh, text here will be blinking. We have our stop lockdown. If you want to stop the lockdown, uh, you can manage and secure areas from here. And we're seeing the status of the area if it's in lockdown. We have our lockdown conditions here, and so on and so forth. So real-time management of the system through the software and the uh, web browser.